Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode 53, recorded on April 15th, 2019. I'm Agent Goonie Guy, and I'm here alone tonight. But that's okay. We're going to have an... Uh, awesome show. We're going to talk about some Ingress, of course, and probably some Pokemon Go. Uh, maybe even some of that Harry Potter Wizards Unite and um, much more stuff. So, um, uh, Agent Jelly Belly's out tonight. She she had a, uh, a migraine. I think she got into an argument with um, uh, Agent Toast. We're trying to get him back on the show, but he's, he's just being a big old jerk. So, uh, that's not going to happen, unfortunately. Or maybe fortunately, I don't know. So, um, I guess um, I I want to ask <laughs> Zelly Belly how her week's going, but I'll just ask me. Hey, uh, Agent Goody Guy, how's your week going? Oh, uh, my week's just going fine. So, um, I had an actually a, a really active week this this uh, week because we had a, a local res agent that's been popping up all over the place. Rumor is that he lost his job, so he's just playing Ingress full time. I don't know if that's um, a, a job for anybody, but like uh, I guess Krug. But then he doesn't play that much. I mean, he hacks and stuff, and then goes goes to places. Um, maybe he's playing more now. But um, uh, but anyway, so I've been having to go down and and uh, help take down some fields, and it was uh, re- really kind of good because we had a lot of teamwork with our, our locals. And um, that's what you have to do if, unless you want to lose your own job and, and go play Ingress full time, you got to make friends and, and uh, work with uh, locals. And, you know, sometimes they can go take care of something and sometimes uh, you need to go take care of something, you know, help each other out. And uh, that's been going on. And, and the uh, agent, it really looked like he was going to um, possibly at least work towards winning the cycle i mean it was it was a lot of, i mean he put up um you know like a million mu i think only not nearly that much got on the board uh, because we were quick in getting it down but that's how much they they got in their their personal score and so then uh, we put up some fields and then we our neighbors to the north up in nashville put up some fields and, and it looks like we'll probably win this cycle by more than like 400k which uh is pretty good for this area i mean we, we don't even we normally stick around the 200 to 300k it seems like uh for just normal cycles so it's really good to get this kind of like activity back and forth and i uh, hate that he lost his job if he did but um you know um made our lives more exciting in ingress so all, all good and good luck finding a job too um also, uh, I did register for the May 4th, uh, first Saturday. I'm, I'm going to go ahead, instead of putting one on here, I'm going to support um, a town that's south of us because they haven't had one yet. I know they were having issues getting a first Saturday, kind of getting uh, people from each faction uh, to help host it. So I would rather go support that than um, put, put one on kind of in between that city and then uh, north of us there's another one about two hours uh, north so I think it would be better if we just had you know those and I'll support that and I suggest going to support ones if you're not running them especially if you know whatever faction um, there is more people playing in the in area if you can help out uh, on the other side and you know show up and uh, support uh, help your your team get that double AP for the day because it's it's um it's good for everybody. If uh, we can get the game more active in areas, you know everybody's always had the not everybody, but there's been a lot of philosophy about 
you know, beating the other team. And it's like, you know, if you beat the other team, there's not really much to do at that point. So beat them on the, on the cycle and on the checkpoints and um, encourage them to get out and field and, and play some. I'll give you something to do. Might make it more exciting for you. But um, that's really all I had for that. So we'll go on into situation report. Probably be a lot of water drinking on these solo episodes. I my uh, mouth gets dry, and uh, you'll have to hear me drink. So I should have gotten some something a little stronger, <laughs> maybe. Uh, so let's see what we got going. There's a lot of news actually going on right now. Colon um, has been going on. I don't know if it's still going on, but over the weekend, um, you might have noticed, or uh, we did an article on. Uh, new portals that were available on the island of Kolon, and they were uh, 18 portals. Well, I take that back. Um, 24 portals, if my math is right. On the main trail up the, I guess, mountain on Kolon, there was a uh, begins here and then a um, 1 through 17 uh, path to the Osiris Stone. And then in the ocean, in an area, there were six portals. There was three for each faction um and those are all starting to light up and things happening over the weekend i couldn't really tell by the messages and comps and stuff what was going on like if someone was actually winning something or not and uh but something's going on and they announced the teams last week and you can definitely see those names on the portals doing stuff uh so i figure we'll we'll probably i don't know they may hold off any kind of announcements until um, the finale in, in Chicago and Abaddon Prime, but who knows? Maybe they'll release something sooner. I wouldn't be surprised if they shot a ton of video out there for it and did like a Survivor esque kind of thing, and maybe they'll they'll put that video somewhere. It'll be be interesting to see, and it'll be interesting to see see who acquired the Osiris Stone, if anyone. Maybe both teams failed. But uh, we'll link to that article in the show notes, as well as if you're looking to become an embedded reporter for Abaddon Prime, they have opened up the applications. So we'll link to that. I uh, I signed up for it uh, because I wanted. I, at some point, I would like to live stream some stuff at the anomalies, but I figure starting off just shooting some video might be a good kind of. Uh, first start and my son's actually going to go go with me up to Chicago for Abaddon Prime and uh, he's going to be my cameraman so I have a cameraman being able to shoot some stuff so that'll be a lot of fun and then I won't you know mess up any any teams by taking up a spot and being like nope got the camera can't can't uh, hack that sorry um, but we'll see I'll let you know what happens and and how that goes. A little more inside to what you do as an embedded reporter. Um, I just know from what they say on the site and and from what I've seen, but they want you to take videos or photos. Now they say they want you to take at least four photos and post them to social media an hour. I think it's four. It's two or four. I think four though. Um, but I don't know how that equates to video because it's a little bit harder to. <laughs> put four videos up an hour if you want them to be um oh yeah actually in uploading them there anyway so i may have to take some pictures and video and kind of dual embed reporter if they accept me or pick me or let me or whatever also this week or maybe it was last week they uh sent out an announcement about uh harry potter wizards unite if you're interested in that you can actually Go ahead and reserve your your in-game name from either Ingress or Harry Potter. Um, in uh, or excuse me, in Pokemon Go, in Harry Potter. So, uh, if you want a new name, uh, you'll have to wait till it starts. So it can only be uh, one of the names you currently have in one of those games. I guess you could maybe. Uh, cheat and make a new account and grab a name and then reserve it in the other one 
then you'd have to use that email and uh, it gets all kind of weird things and you're breaking the TOS but I guess that's a possibility hopefully people don't uh, you know use that power for evil and uh, I better go reserve my name real quick go reserve your name so someone can't screw you over by being a jerk um, let's see also let's see anomalies we've been talking a lot about oh we're not got ice you're gonna hear me chew ice now that's great um hear me talking a lot about abaddon prime but last week we announced that our last episode we skipped an episode last week sorry about that but um the previous episode we had mentioned that andrew said that the q3 and q4 anomalies would be announced on the fifth and uh they were announced um uh, around then we'll, we'll give it it was round close enough um so we have two anomalies uh announced umbra and myriad and there's uh there's a couple of oddities with this this um grouping or whatever you want to call them of anomalies uh first off there's no distinction between whether they're uh, prime locations or satellite locations they're just all the locations um and i confirmed that with with uh, krug and he said yes that's that's correct there there isn't going to be a a prime or, or satellite so it'll be interesting to see if they have these the the uh, sensitives the you know the actors uh not actors i mean uh you know the sensitives uh come out to any of the locations or all the locations because if they just come out to one or you know three huh like in in normal then those are you know that's pretty much your prime locations uh, but uh, what are they going to do about the swag? You know, they started doing the swag at only the prime location, so is that going to be at all of them? Uh, things like that. So hopefully we'll get some more information on that as well. Um, also, there's only going to be one day. So in the prime anomaly series so far, we've had uh, two days for each each anomaly series. This one, Umbra's, uh, are actually a myriad is uh, going to be on July 27th with uh, in Brazil. Uh, there's uh, one in U.S., uh, Canada, Indonesia, uh, Korea, Sri Lanka, Finland, Lithuania, and France. And then in October, Umbra will have uh, two locations in the U.S., Brooklyn and Sacramento, uh, Mexico, Taiwan, Australia, Malaysia, Germany, Belgium, and Sweden. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Now, th the other interesting thing is that um, October 12th might be the first anomaly where ooh, everybody's using Prime, that everybody uh, has to use Ingress Prime because the goal is to uh, get rid of Redacted by September. Dun, 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 dun. Now imagine this. Everybody using Prime, and only a month into using Prime. So I I encourage all agents to at least get Prime out. Like have a Prime day, just like um, or you know pick every Prime number in the month and play Prime on those days, right? And start getting used to it. I I would say. 90% I was at 95 but it's kind of gone down a little bit 90% of the time I enjoy prime more than I do redacted there's still a couple very frustrating issues but uh, I pretty much 100% of the time now use prime uh, gameplay matter of fact I did uh, hop into redacted for something and it uh, it was kind of difficult getting uh used to it it wasn't like muscle memory you knew where everything was because it it just didn't and i don't know some things actually felt slower uh definitely linking like i mentioned before was was a lot slower um but i, I mean honestly like prime is is a day-to-day -day is um is working great like the main things that that 
are annoying to me are the uh, speed lock still seems to be a little um, tougher it seems to to activate easier than in redacted and then it seems like sometimes it gets stuck in that that's one of the things that's really annoying to me hopefully they'll get that fixed and the other one is is um, though there's so many advantages in the capsule management and the management of inventory in general there is one bug where the the manage um, when you're in a capsule and you're supposed to hit the button to manage it just goes away and it won't come back like you go out go back in and it's just like you have to close the app and open it back up and those are like the main two bugs that uh, that still uh, hit me like weekly but I, I've gotten used to them um, and everything else seriously like everything else is, is doing great in my opinion so uh, if you've been scared of Prime in the past give it another another try I'd say every patch give it another try you know or on Prime days that's another thing you can do uh, so that is Myriad and Umbra I'm sure we'll get a lot more news about that as they start getting closer and closer to those dates and maybe we'll hear more after Chicago I'll probably want to wait till then uh, speaking of if you are planning on going to any of the Abaddon Prime anomalies I would start if you haven't already I would start registering with your, with your factions like website for it um, you can go ahead and get your tickets of course uh, but register with your factions um, sites and get set up with them as well so you can get involved with the community and uh, possibly a team or, or whatever however you do stuff at anomalies and um, start looking at the cool swag there's some uh, really awesome logos going around this time I mean I've seen like the uh, uh, Chicago's logo looks incredible uh, they did just an amazing job of that with a bunch of uh, crazy swag as well in their store so go look at that and uh, I was looking at I think it was um, I guess it was resistance uh, Abaddon Prime logo I don't know it's like on their anomaly website it's like a fire uh, uh, like a fire, like I don't know, what would you call it? Like a lieutenant badge or something? Fire, um, engine thing. Uh, you'll know it when you see it, but uh, it looked it looked pretty cool too. So, uh, there's a lot of cool options out there for uh, swag, which I know a lot of people are interested in. Uh, with the video announcement of the two uh, new anomaly sites or two new anomalies there was something interesting at the end of the the video they announced there's going to be coming soon new exper experimental gameplay uh, which is NIA field tests so don't know what those are have not heard anything uh, I do know uh, something else I guess we can talk about it now too that they've been testing the shard functionality in I believe San Francisco uh, they tweeted about that, and I believe they're going to be testing in a few other places. Uh, pretty sure Huntsville, Alabama, so start looking on the map for that. Not really. Uh, but uh, maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe that's that's their next level shards in, in Prime is the, this uh, field test thing. Maybe it's something completely new. So uh, keep your eyes open for that, and um, should be more fun out there. So, uh, what else? Pokemon Go Fest tickets. They've announced today that uh, they will be purchased through the Pokemon Go app instead of just on a website somewhere or uh, Evite, whatever they used in the past. I wasn't sure. Uh, one odd thing, or maybe it's not odd, but they're actually going to go through a a lottery on them. So you'll actually in the app you'll you'll select the event you're interested in and then basically put in your I I'm interested you're interested into the the event and then if you get chosen you'll get an email that says hey go back to the app and you know go buy your tickets and then you'll go buy your tickets there I assume it's for you know a couple reasons one that there were so many people that bought tickets and and basically completely hosed their the cell networks that were 
uh, in the area. Uh, but also, I believe there were a lot of uh, scalpers that bought tickets. It's a little bit of rumor. I don't know for sure. I'm not really in that world. But uh, I could see how doing something like this would uh, slow that down if you had to have an account and, and um, you could only buy maybe a certain amount. Um, and then when you buy them, uh, you can buy them for, say, your your children, but the parent has to have an account and buy it, and then they can put their child's uh, game name in there, and they'll get the ticket. So there's uh, more information on that, and we'll link to that for all the Pigo fans. Um, but uh, uh, I'm wondering like is this something we'll see in ingress so when maybe eventually you'll buy ingress tickets and all the different event stuff would just within the game and you know I don't know if there's really any benefit for that for for uh, ingress I don't know if it would help get badges out quicker in some instances though right now they're they're fairly quick on at least the anomalies and, and mission days um, but maybe it would be like an instant thing once you know you got there and hacked it they could give it to you instantly I don't know I was always um, you know not concerned but I always thought that they they would be concerned at least in iOS I believe Apple takes like 30% of any purchase made in in apps so if you were selling you know um, you know some of their big packages are like what 75 bucks or something like that that you know all suddenly Apple gets 30% of it just because they they bought in the app so that seems like that would be tough on them though uh, I know Pokemon goes probably made Apple so much money and they definitely did some promotion during the Apple stuff that maybe they have some sort of deal with them to you know take a little little bit less of uh, the money but it's Apple why would they do that right so um, a little bit odd but we'll see how that goes and how it goes for Pokemon Go Fest it's always interesting to see um, you know Pokemon Go actually doing something positive for ingress in in that uh, they have to do these big events and then all suddenly they kind of have a little more uh, knowledge on how to uh, you know make the ingress events even better with with cell signal if they use the same techniques or whatever and get get some um, you know what do they call them like the mini cell towers or, or whatever uh, from the cell companies though I, I don't think they do that for ingress I don't I don't know if there's enough people at the ingress anomalies for those though Chicago uh, maybe I assume there's going to be a ton of people there um, which, you know, turn around and how far is uh, Madison, Wisconsin from Chicago? So, j so uh, what is that? Two months later, uh, another anomaly uh, really close to there. Um, I don't know. And then there's uh, Pokemon Go Fest will be in Chicago. And then there's something else happening there, I believe. Uh, really close by that seems like maybe they have more infrastructure in Chicago or from doing the events in the past maybe they've um, built up the contacts to get stuff done there uh, quickly so uh, maybe that's why they like Chicago or they're just really big Oprah fans which could be so um, that's pretty much all the news that I know of if you know of something send it to us and we'll talk about it next week and I think yeah my iPad where I do the sound bumpers was down to 10% and I can't charge it while I record it, it makes a loud hum so um, we're done with bumpers for tonight but we got this what's in the capsule huh? I'll just do the bumpers live so we've got a, a few submissions. If you ever want to leave submissions for the show, just go to our website, agentacademypodcast.com, and there's uh, links uh, in different places to leave either audio submissions or um, you can uh, leave it in like a little form. And uh, no one will pick up the phone, so you don't have to worry about having to talk to like uh, me or you know my wife or the kids or the dog or something weird 
Who knows? It'll just be a voice machine uh, taking your calls. And you can do it on a computer or, you know, an app on your phone, just like Chrome or something. So, super easy. Uh, send us some stuff. Uh, this week, we had Agent Jamana said, I believe this SCLPUD, I don't know what that is, so I'm going with, I'm going with they meant mod. And it maybe it was something in the form that messed up, but a, a mod that can clog a portal for two hours. And I assume that's kind of like a um, a Jarvis or, or Ada. Uh, so I don't know really what you mean by clog, like make it just not produce anything instead. Um, which may be interesting, but also seems like really the only thing you would do with it is to just screw people over like you see him throw a fracker on there like well let's put this on there have fun trying to get some stuff off of it um so i don't know i i i think there's yeah i don't know it just seems like just uh you would just use it to be a jerk i mean there's i don't know of any other really good reason to uh clog a portal for two hours like even if you're trying to use it for defensive or offensive move it's just denial i mean it's just keeping people from um you know getting loot off it and they can go to a different one and it's just like well now we gotta go to a different restaurant or something like if people are there to eat and uh hack a portal for a couple hours so yeah i don't know i don't know i'm gonna have to soho that one i think buzzer buzz I don't really have a buzzer, so I'll do that. Ah, sorry about that. Um, okay, so, hey, but thanks for sending the idea. Send in some more. It'll probably be much nicer when Zilly Belly gets back. She's never a jerk to people and their ideas. I'm just playing her part tonight. So, uh, uh, Agent John A. Rett says i also switched to instinct i believe this was uh agent Sally belly was talking about in pokemon go they added in the feature where they could switch um factions <laughs> what do they call it factions teams i'm team teams yeah they're teams so uh the uh she switched to instinct i believe so anyway uh, john Eric says i also switched to instinct all of my enlightened teammates are on that team makes things simpler at farms which can also be raids cool glasses dude guy emoji hey i think that's probably a good idea good idea uh, Gummy Kitty, Agent Gunning, Gummy Kitty says, this is not an idea for what's in the capsule. This is a tip or a trick to easily learn glyph names. I'm giving the link to the website, which we will put in the show notes. Um, that says uh, the course I recommend to use, which is free. It's on uh, Memrise.com. And there's a long link to it, which... Uh, uh, we'll give later show notes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this course really drives it home for me as it makes you type out some of the glyph names instead of all being multiple choice. Be sure to sign up for the website so you can save your progress and test your knowledge with reviews from what you have already learned. So that's great advice. I will have to try that out. I, I think that is also a good tip to, you know, type right out, but also say it at the same time as you're like drawing it like I, I say it when I see it say it when I draw it and then I say it if I stop at the end to see it again and just uh, all that together I think helps your brain learn the glyphs and really learn the glyphs man it's like you know it, it's like the other day I got a glyph and I looked up for some reason and I missed the first glyph, but because the, the second two uh, made a glyph sentence, a glyphence, glyphence, it's not a word, uh, that I recognized, I was like, oh, the first glyph is this, and I actually got it right. So it's like, it, it's not only that it's easier to get the glyph in its right in the first place, it may actually save you if you, if you um, miss it. 
And sometimes you'll see the first one and you just kind of know the rest of it. Like if it's on a three, you know, um, a three sentence or a three glyph sentence, a glyph in it, and it's not going to stick. Like someone needs to tell me to stop. No one's here to tell me to stop. We're screwed. Uh, anyway, um, like you almost know it sometimes. And uh, anyway. Definitely learn those glyphs. Uh, Agent Hizzy Biz. In the hizzle. No, I added that. Says, okay, so a few episodes back, I suggested being able to purchase extra space. And Zelly Belly added a suggestion on top of that, saying there should be a way to earn the chaotic matter used in the app store to purchase items. My idea on that is you earn chaotic matter based on how many fields you have up multiplied by the average amount of my units per field at each checkpoint it may also be a good incentive to earn chaotic matter when you accomplish the bronze silver gold platinum and onyx badges viva la resta resistance um too much math or at least just don't tell me the math part of it just say you earned some doing that not you. I'm saying if they put it in the game. Like, I don't want to have to do the halfsies. Like, when I start trying to figure out, like, the the score, like, at the next checkpoints and, like, how much you need to... What, it's like, ah, my brain hurts. Just get a lot of it. Just get more of it. We'll see where we are after the next one. Uh, or Techno will give me the math. That's it. That's, uh, that's my go-to. So, um... Yeah, I think um, if they added, if they let you earn CM in the game some way, I, I think there's, yeah, I think that would be a great way to do it as well. Like, there could be multiple ways. Like, you know, eventually they'll add in some sort of, I can't say missions because missions are in there, but you know what I'm saying? Like, um, some other type of mission, basically quest thingy, but... Um, named something that makes sense in ingress uh and you know a research task thingy it's coming you know eventually so it could definitely be a rewards for that as well and i think uh getting uh badges or, or medals are both great ways to earn that um there was something i think we've talked about this in the past uh, the idea of if you controlled a field, um, and this is a, a different idea. I was just thinking on as you were talking about fields and whatever. But I was thinking if you have fields that, um, like, what do y'all think about, like, the faction that owns the field being able to field under it? Because... I mean, it's come up recently, uh, even in our local area, and it wasn't like, oh, screw this, y'all fielded over this. It was just, you know, um, hey, you know, can I field here or whatever? I see y'all making fields or whatever. Um, and then just having to kind of see where people normally field so you don't feel over their normal area of play unless it's, you know, something big. And it seems like that's a kind of a pain in the butt thing when your team is winning like you know what i mean like when you have the field up it should be well here's your advantage field away underneath it i mean you can't field out of it but make some micro fields under it kind of thing would that break anything hmm i don't know um let's see uh we actually have one from uh chat room i think i just read the first thing so uh dsot 88 says uh goonie watts in the capsule idea is that like uh you know you said watts and you know what i i think of that is wheel of time i learned today is uh th there's going to be a series on amazon if you were if you ever read the wheel of time series like there's been rumors back and forth for years uh probably before the the author died even that there was going to be a movie. I think someone actually did a fanfic movie, and it was horrendous. And so I think it scared them for a while, and then someone would buy the movie rights, someone would buy the game rights. There'd be a... Anyway, they finally announced it, I, I believe, last year sometime that, that um, Amazon had the rights, and uh, they've actually... They're going to start production this year uh, for it. So super happy about that. So anyway, 
Uh, Goonie, what's in the capsule idea? It's a lame process to pick up each item when it's dropped. Why don't they have a global pickup options within the 40 meter? Me, me, meters. That's a new word. Meters. Uh, not rocket, rocket science, really. That would be... That's a really cool idea. So just a... Yeah, all the MMOs have this now. Well, not all of them. Some of them have them now where you just go, you know, pick up all, and it goes, sucks up all. Or what if you just wanted to suck up items? I think we talked about that one time, like almost like a vacuum cleaner where you could turn it on, and then so if someone's dropping items, it would just suck it up. Which um, I could see people abusing that maybe in... Anomalies or FS or mission days or uh, places where people try to drop caps real quickly and pick them up without people noticing. If you could just sit there and just just keep tapping that button, you could uh, suck everything up. Um, Ninety nine percent of the time, I think it would be great. And so maybe people would just have to learn, you know, to be a little more careful with those. Uh, maybe they could just add in some sort of trading for some of that, and then that wouldn't affect it. It would just be, um, I don't know, if they added in some of our other mods where you could put a mod on that would s spit out, you know, if you, you don't want any of the cubes that it's spitting out, it just spits them on the ground, and then someone could just suck up everything. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a workable. It's a good idea, and uh, it, it makes some sense. I think, uh, it, like, besides the issue I already mentioned, I, I don't know how much Ingress really wants people like dropping stuff and trading in the first place. I mean, it just doesn't seem like they have many mechanics. I mean, besides the capsule, duh. Okay, yeah, that's a uh, that one. Uh, well, no, I mean capsules are for keeping stuff grouped together I guess if you didn't want it in your main inventory uh, so were capsules made so you could drop a bunch of stuff to someone else or were they made to capsulize your inventory hmm I don't know yeah sorry JBJ's right that's tangent I'll uh um yeah no good idea like it Ah. Oh, water is so good, isn't it? it? Tastes so good. So, it's um it's definitely a shorter show today. <laughs> um but I don't know if there's really anything else to talk about. I was trying to think if I don't have anything coming up. How about you uh oh yeah, it's just me. So, um let's just go ahead and give you the achievement code this week. Should already work if you know where to find them on the website. If not, uh, you can wait till the episode's up. Should be tomorrow. Um, code AA Star Wars AA. And you may be like, why Star Wars? Like, what is. Well, um,. I was sure we were going to talk about Star Wars tonight because they had their big convention over the weekend, and I know uh, Agent Zelly Belly was uh, streaming that, watching that and stuff, so it was going to be in the conversation, and I made that this afternoon, and so that's what we have now. At least no one will figure it out. No one will just, oh, episode 53, I bet you they use Star Wars. They won't do it. So, anyway... That's your code. Try it out. Uh, JBJ Blaze already uh, beat y'all out to it. I mean, you can all do it. He, he didn't, like, take it away from y'all. I just, he's there, and he, he tests it for me to make sure it works. So thank you for that as well. Uh, also, uh, there we've been beefing up the, the merch area on the uh, website. So go uh, check out uh, a bunch of merch from there. I, I was thinking, you know, um, like... Maybe some Agent Academy, like, Abaddon Prime shirts. Like, I need to talk to... Maybe Andrew has more information on, like... I don't know if they would do the same thing they do for Anomaly sites. Or maybe we just don't make it with... Um, AA, or with, uh, you know, 
Enlightened Resistance logos on them. I don't know. I don't know. I have to see how that works or whatever. Uh, but that's a thing. Go there. Look at the merch store. As always, uh, thanks. I saw um, Arctic Rebel, I believe. I saw you earlier. And you got... I was seeing if it was showing up over here. You got a membership for the month, I believe, which you can do if you have, um, also if you have a Prime, you can get a Twitch membership for free on the channel. I'm going to give everybody in the channel 50 points, 50 AP. It's on you, Ada. Ada sent that. There's actually some commands to figure out um, how many points you have. Nothing to do with them yet, but uh, eventually we'll have some games and other stuff in the chat room that you can you can play with your points you can share them bet them toast them whatever you want to do so there's there's a little 50 50 50 points for you um that's about it so leave us a review if you get a chance on itunes and the google play store and uh send in some content and questions what's in the capsule ideas for the game ideas for the show ideas for a better world so everybody have a wonderful evening and i'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>